Hello. In this lecture, we are going to create a scaling policy for our auto scaling groups. A scaling policy will allow us to scale our application either up or down based on the CPU utilization. And to create a scaling policy, let's go to the EC2 console. So under services, I'm going to select EC2. Then I'll come all the way down. And I'm going to select my auto scaling groups. I'm going to select the auto scaling groups and under automatic scaling we are going to click add policy we are going to select this drop down it is going to be a simple scaling and under scaling policy name the first scaling policy we are going to create is for the high cpu so i'm going to call it high cpu once you specify the name then we are going to create a cloud watch alarm and it is going to open a new tab. Click select metric. And we are going to select EC2. Auto scaling group. And the metric we are looking for is the CPU utilization. Is the first one that is showing up here. Look for the CPU utilization. And select metric. Then in here. We can leave this value as the same. But just to make it faster, we can change this to one minute. Then we'll scroll down. We'll leave it as static. And in here, we are saying that whenever the CPU utilization is greater or equal to, and we are going to specify a value here. Let's put 75. So this is saying whenever the CPU utilization is greater or equals to 75, it is going to trigger this alarm. I'm going to click next. And we are going to leave it in alarm. And we'll select an SNS topic to get notified. I'll select this drop down and select the SNS topic we created when we created our billing alarm. Now I'll scroll down and click next. We are going to give our alarm a name. I'll call it high CPU again. I'm going to give it a description. Then I'm going to click next. I'm going to scroll down and click create alarm. We have created that alarm and it's saying insufficient data. We have to go back to our scaling policy to finish creating it. I'll come back to the scaling policy. And under the cloud watch alarm, I'll refresh. And I'll select this drop down and I'm going to select my iCPU alarm. And for take the action, we are saying add. And I'm going to put two in here. So what we are saying is whenever this iCPU alarm is triggered, auto scaling group scaling policy will add two new web servers. Then we'll click create. So we have created that scaling policy. And if we go back to our alarm, it is saying OK now. Now let's create another scaling policy for the low CPU usage. To create another scaling policy for low CPU usage, we are going to click add policy. We select this drop down. It's going to be simple scaling. We'll give it a name. I'll call it low CPU. And I'm going to create an alarm for it. I'll click create cloud watch alarm. I'm going to click select metric. It is going to be EC2 auto scaling group. And we want to select the CPU utilization. I'll select that. And I'll select metric. And we are going to change this number to one minute. So everything is faster. It is going to be static. This time we are going to say whenever the CPU utilization is lower or equals to. And the value we are going to specify in here is 30. So we are saying whenever the CPU utilization is lower or equals to 30, it is going to trigger this alarm. We'll click next. We are going to leave it in alarm state. I'll select my SNS topic. And I'll scroll down. And I'll click next. I'll give it a name and I'll call it low CPU. And I'll also give it a description. Then once I add the description, I'll click next. I'm going to review everything and click create alarm. 
And now we have to go back to our scaling policy. Refresh. And click on this drop down and select the low CPU. For take action, we are going to say remove. So we are saying whenever the CPU utilization of our web server is lower than 30, we want to remove some web servers. We are going to remove one server when the CPU utilization is lower or equals to 30. And we'll click create. And I'll go back to my CloudWatch alarm. And when I refresh, it is still gathering the data. So after waiting some time, the low CPU alarm has been triggered. This is because we have two EC2 instances running. And since we aren't doing anything on those EC2 instances, their CPU utilization is lower than 30. And that is why it is triggering this alarm. And this is how you create scaling policy for your auto scaling groups. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.